Hi, I'm David Brackett, the CEO and founder of Linguava. I just want to thank you for coming along on this journey to help us provide health equity through language access. Hello, I'm Sarah, and this is Daria. And today we will discuss the differences between qualification and certification for spoken languages in the state of Oregon. These are some of the benefits of having your credentials. Hospitals and health insurance companies request qualification or certification for all languages. You can establish yourself as a professional in the industry. Your name is officially listed on the Oregon State Healthcare Interpreter Registry, which provides the opportunity to receive more work offers, higher compensation rate, and you provide higher quality of care to the LEP community. Getting your interpreting credentials is a great way to continue your professional development and improve your skills. There are many similarities between qualification and certification, so we want to help you understand what both of these credentials are so that you can make the right choice for your interpreting career. The main difference between these credentials is that certification involves taking written and oral exams. The qualification does not. Certification is only available in Oregon in six spoken languages, while qualification is offered for any language. Choosing a credential. There are several things to consider when you look into getting your interpreting credentials. First, the credential that you obtain may depend on the language that you interpret. In Oregon, qualification is offered through the Oregon Health Authority in any language. If you speak Spanish, Russian, Arabic, Cantonese, Mandarin, or Korean, you can get qualified first if you would like, or go straight to certification through one of two certifying bodies, NBCMI or CCHI. If you speak any other language other than those six, the only credential available and recognized in Oregon is qualification. You may renew your qualification after four years, Interpreters who are qualified in Spanish, Russian, Arabic, Cantonese, Mandarin, or Korean must get certified when their qualification expires. They cannot renew qualification because certification is available in those languages. Training. Whether you're working towards becoming qualified or certified, the first step is to take a 60-hour healthcare interpreter training that is approved by the Oregon Health Authority, or OHA. For a complete list of approved programs, please visit their website. Proof of Proficiency Some training programs may require you to provide your proof of proficiency in English and your target language before taking the training. This is also required by OHA and national certifying organizations when you apply for your credential. Language proficiency can be proven in a variety of ways, such as taking a proficiency test over the phone with Language Line or Language Testing International, providing your high school diploma, or a higher education diploma in the languages that you'll be interpreting for. Hours of interpreting experience. Before you can be granted a credential, you will need to have at least 15 hours of interpreting experience for qualification and at least 30 hours of experience if you are applying for certification. If you have been interpreting with Linguava, we are happy to write you a letter that includes your hours of interpreting experience. This letter may be submitted together with all of your other documents to OHA or one of the national certification organizations. Submitting the application. Once you have all of the requirements for qualification, you will need to fill out an application and submit it to OHA along with all the required documents. You will then be directed to complete a background check, and upon review of your application, you will be issued your Healthcare Interpreter Qualification Letter. This is where the similarities between qualification and certification end. If you speak a language that certification is available for, and you have decided to work towards this, you will also need to take a written and oral exam through one of two national certification organizations. NBCMI, which is the National Board for Certified Medical Interpreters, or CCHI, which is the Certification Commission for Healthcare Interpreters. 
Visit their websites for more information and details on the exams and requirements that are specific to those organizations. After you have passed your national certification exams, you will need to submit your application, certificate, and the other components we've just discussed to the Oregon Health Authority to be recognized in our state as a certified healthcare interpreter and to be included in the state's registry of credentialed interpreters. If you have further questions about the state qualification or certification process or are interested in becoming an interpreter with Linguava, please connect with us at interpreters at linguava.com.